One of the most famous uh, automata, or pseudo-automata, is the chess-playing automaton of Wolfgang von Kempelen. Modelled on a Turkish figure and built in 1770 for an Austrian empress, this life-size automaton travelled through Europe playing chess and defeating commoners and kings alike. After a century-long career, he has recently been restored to full working order. Von Kimplin would, uh, would push out the chess player, the machine itself, and pull out a set of keys. He would then open the left-hand door, exposing all of the machinery, and take a lit candle around to the back and open the door there to show that there's nothing but machinery in there. Now, again, leaving all of the doors flapping in the breeze, he would roll the whole machine around and show that the Turk had uh, a couple of small doors inside his back and in his legs and lifting up his robe, again, just expose the machinery. Then turn it all back around and lock it up and he's ready for the performance. With lifelike movements, unerring judgment, and his expressionless face, the chess player proved to be an intimidating opponent. After alleged victories over Napoleon, Benjamin Franklin, and Catherine the Great of Russia, author Edgar Allan Poe became obsessed with uncovering the secret. Theories ranged from off-stage assistance with remote control devices to electromagnets.